does it mean to Kentucky Standard Bread Racing to have 12 extra days this year? Oh, it means a lot. I, we, I, like I said, I wish we can have as many as possible because it's a lot of shipping when you have to go and race outside the states. And I mean, this is the, the best place to be is Kentucky. And I mean, it's uh, the horse capital. And uh, I think that we should have as many chances as possible to race. And uh, I, I'm very, very thankful that we've been able to have 12 more days. And I'm hoping that it's a bright future for Kentucky. Uh, describe how big a difference it makes. Just, I mean, it's 12 days, but it's 12 days. Yeah, I know it. it's only 12 days, but for us just to be able to go in here and qualify. I mean, me who got so many horses, when I have to go to Ohio, for example, the closest track for me right now is takes me three hours and 15 minutes one way just to go and qualify and race. And I mean, here it's way closer. And I mean, we got a very good track here and uh, it, it makes a big difference for everybody to have a chance to make a living. And uh, it, it means a lot. Is that Sayota then? Yes, the it's Sayota. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That and then I have to go to Northfield Park, which is five, five hours and 15 minutes or five and a half. And then uh, who's your park? That's about three hours and 45 minutes. So, so yeah. If, if these 12 days weren't here, you would be training in Paris and just shipping to oh, all shipping, those races. Yeah. yeah, and I would be qualifying. That's what that's what I have to do. And I mean, it, it's very hard on yourself and all your help and everything. And I mean, it, it's it's so much better just to be able to go here and race. And I like I said, this track right here is the best, I think, in, in the United States. So, yeah. Of course, next year this meet presumably will be at Corbin. Yes. And your thoughts on a new track opening? I'm very happy about it. Also, way closer for us. It's going to be about an hour and 20 or hour and a half of my understandings. And I think it's great. I, uh, I think it's going to be really good. And uh, I'm, I'm very happy for it. What do you think about the ownership, which is a partnership of uh, Keeneland and the Kentucky Downs ownership, owning Corbin and basically funding this meet here? Yeah, I mean, I, th I think it's great. I mean, we need we need uh, other people coming in and uh, having a, giving us a chance to race. And I, I think it's great. How many horses do you have in training now? I got around uh, 50 horses uh, here in uh, the farm in Paris, Kentucky. And I got another 20 out east at Magical Acres in New Jersey. So whether it's a big outfit such as your own yeah. or even there's some people I've talked to that have just a couple horses here. Yeah. It makes a difference. Oh yes, it does. And it's not, it's not for just for the big guys, I think, because it's important to have the small guys to be able to make a living of training horses. I mean, I mean it's, not, it's not just for me. I, I think it's great. I mean, I'm the, I'm the part of the Kentucky family. It don't matter, I have so many horses. So I feel like one of them, of course. So I, I, think, it's a, I think it's gonna be great.